All right, guys, so this morning, um, I'm gonna show you kind of what a typical day looks like for me. We're starting this morning a little bit early. Come on by, bud. You all right? Badass. So we're starting this morning a little bit different. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit kind of what my typical day looks like. We're starting this morning at the barbershop. So this is the barbershop that I own, uh, City Barbers. It's downtown Salt Lake City. You guys have heard me talk about it. We're gonna get started this morning with a podcast. Uh, we, we do a podcast here in the barbershop called Heart of the City. Hey, thanks for coming in. How's that haircut, good? Yeah, he does a good job, he kills it. All right, appreciate it. Thanks for the support, man. I also get a haircut usually when I come in. Uh, it's kind of how I connect with all my guys, kind of rotate through the barbers. But anyway, let's kind of show you what a day looks like with me. We got a bunch of different things kind of going on. So we just got done doing an early morning podcast at the barber shop. I got a haircut. I was able to meet with my guys kind of go over the weekly goals, daily goals, different things like that. It's a really good way for me to connect with my guys, get a haircut at the same time, kind of check out the flow of the shop. And then I stopped by my favorite kind of juice, uh, smoothie place, all organic stuff. I love it, kind of keeps me going, kind of powered, powers me through. We're gonna head back to my house right now. We're gonna change trucks. We're gonna get in the hook truck and we're gonna go pick up some cans, deliver some cans. We're gonna stop by Steel Products. You guys will recognize them as uh, the dumpster manufacturer that builds our dumpsters. So you guys might recognize this from a previous episode. This is Steel Products in Salt Lake City. These are the guys that make all of our dumpsters. We got some dumpsters that we're shipping out on Friday, so we're just here to check up on them. One is this right here. This is going to JP in Las Vegas. This is a custom flatbed that we just built. It's a 14 foot flatbed. It's got diamond deck on it. It's a 36 inch hook. And JP has purchased some equipment like some Bobcats, skid steers, mini excavators and he needs a way to move them around. So for those of you guys that are starting to buy equipment and stuff, a flatbed is a must have. And then Jim's making one of his concrete dumpsters down there on the end. So this, this flatbed is shipping out on Friday. They're literally on the final few hours of building this out. This is gonna get painted black shipped to Las Vegas, so that looks great. We've got another one getting ready to go to Southern Utah. We got a couple of concrete, so it's good. Looks like we're gonna make all those timelines and all the promises that we made to these guys. Um, I appreciate all you guys that have bought dumpsters from us. It's a great product. You know, get in my inbox, message me. Chances are I can get you a concrete dumpster within a week painted your color, so. I've still got some spots left this month, so if you want them, hit me up. So now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go out to the west yard. We've got a 12 yard on the truck that we're gonna drop off. We're gonna pick up a larger dumpster and we're gonna take it to a customer that does a lot of fire restoration. I guess they had a fire at this house in the last couple of days. And we're gonna drop him off a dumpster for his renovation type work. <laughs> That guy definitely needs to watch an episode of <laughs> Don't Haul Overloaded. That's a burnout.
17 cubic yard out there to a new customer. New customer called in off one of my Google ads and we're gonna take them out a 17 cubic yard for a house clean out. His parents are moving out of their house and moving into, I think, a care facility. And he just got um, some things to get rid of. So we're gonna run this down there. It actually works out pretty good because we have a 22 cubic yard at the south end of the valley. So it actually worked out really nice because we're gonna drop this and then pick another one up that we've got scheduled to pick up here. Yes? this result so long and short of it is this lady doesn't speak anything but Arabic and I'm not Arabic <laughs> so we've been trying to do it through her son on the phone she wanted me to move her car we don't really want to get into the game we're moving people's cars and stuff like that so we're gonna set this down and then I'm gonna call her son who ordered the dumpster and speaks English and kind of go over kind of the rules with it. There's obviously a communication barrier, um, but hey, we'll get it resolved. We'll get it taken care of. Nice enough lady. We just, we want to try and help them out. They're moving out of this house. They're doing a complete clean out, um, but we're not trying to be difficult, but anyway, it just takes a few extra minutes to communicate with everybody involved, but let's get this one off. And then uh, we'll go from there. Let me get it off. Okay. So, story time. This dumpster. This is somebody that called on a Google ad. Hey, I need a dumpster for my parents. I'm calling on behalf of my parents. Um, obviously, his parents don't speak English. They're basically getting e evicted out of their house is a long story. Um, so he asked if I would bring him out a dumpster so that they can throw stuff in. He told me they were moving to a rest home, but as the story kind of shakes out, they're they're getting evicted out of this house. So I told him go online and pay. He's like, I don't have the ability to do that. I'll just pay you with cash when you get to the house. Get to the house, we set the dumpster down. I go over everything with him and I'm like, is she paying for the dumpster? And he's like, no, I'll pay you tomorrow. I fucking practice what I preach. No pay, no dumpster. He told me that he was gonna have money for me when I dropped it off. I usually don't do that. I usually, hey man, you gotta figure out a way to pay it online. You gotta pay me Venmo. So after kind of this circus, and then he's like, no, I'll just pay you tomorrow. It's an eviction. I'm not doing that. So I just told him, Hey, when you can get a prepaid credit card that you can pay online or you get your Venmo account set up, holler at me, you can make payment and I'll bring the dumpster back out. But guys, I don't need any experience. I don't need anybody um, trying to get over on me. So I was polite about it, but I got rules. and. I'm strict on my rules, and my rules basically say, hey, <laughs> you pay for your dumpster when I drop it off, and if you don't, I just don't need to leave the dumpster. Is this, you like where this is for you right here? Um, if it's not too much trouble, uh, could it potentially just be scooted right here so you could just toss it in? But
but you can, if I do that, you can't open the door. Oh, there's a door. So, no, well, let me, let me, I'll show you. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to lock it. So this is kind of why, cause that's about as far back as I can do it. Otherwise it'll hit this. No, you're good. This is good. Okay. So let me show you how, how the door works. Okay. Okay. So you got to close the door. Okay. Don't put your hands right here. You'll get smashed. Keep your hands in here. Cause this door weighs like 500 pounds. Okay. That's locked. Cool. But I'm going to open it for you because it swings all the way open, okay? So this will come all the way around. See, I really couldn't come too much further back or I would have hit stuff. Well, I got lucky. For people that don't understand half full, but you can disregard it because it doesn't, it doesn't pertain to you. That's for somebody that was doing a project, they could only fill it half full oh, it. and they couldn't figure out what half full was, so we painted a green line. Got it. So here's the deal. You paid for a 12 cubic yard, yeah. put 12 in it, okay. but you didn't pay for a 12 and a half. You didn't pay for a 13. Okay. So we don't allow any, I know we're in Utah and I know everyone gets fired up about being a pilgrim and cover wagon. This line right here, yeah. that's your load line. Okay. Everything has to be below that. Okay. So no sticks, no branches, nothing like that. Anything can be above yeah. it. If you treat it like a game of Tetris, you can get a lot of stuff in it. If you just kind of huck stuff in, you're not going to get very much. I'm going to leave this with you for two reasons. Okay. One, you're going to have a neighbor that's going to come over and be like, hey, can we throw something yeah. in it? And without a question, it's going to be on this list. It always is. Okay. okay. So I'll leave that with you. So on this side, these are items that cannot go in the dumpster for any reason. Okay. Okay. If you have any of these, let me know. Well, I already have a question because this is, this is our shit. Um, we're doing a rent, a, re a remodel. That's of this fine. Old house. Okay, so this stuff is that's fine. fine. It's just like that's fine. Off. Yep, I know that. It's more like plaster. plaster that's what that's it is. fine. Not a problem. Okay. I saw that on your notes when you ordered the dumpster. Yeah. So, but in this one, like no dirt, concrete, rock, sod, brick, shingles, roofing of any type. Yeah. The plaster's okay. Inside. Yeah, it's all inside stuff, so the it shouldn't be a shit. Okay. From okay, cool. That's okay. If you do decide you want to put something in it because it's just not worth a hassle to take it, you got the oh, dumpster here. I do here. have a thought. Uh, what about, um, we have an old water heater. That... No, water heaters are fine. Okay, cool. They're not on the list. They will be next year, but this year they're not on okay, the list. Cool. So you're good on that. Yes. But if you do end up putting something in or a neighbor comes over and is like, hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I just got to get rid of this thing. <laughs> you know what the charges are. Venmo us if you put any of these in here. Okay. Venmo us, put your name on it, your address on it, and tell us what your Venmo okay. is for, and then we attach it to it. Perfect. It's okay. I don't easy anticipate busy. we will need any of these things based off of like what, what you have. told me and what you're doing. Um, yeah. But if we do, then thanks for the information. This is helpful. Otherwise, you're all set. You don't know anything else. We'll be back about this time tomorrow to get okay. it. Just make sure that no cars are blocking access to it or anything else. We'll just come, we'll pick yeah. it up, we'll be on our way. Yeah, and... we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, my contractor cool. sometimes parks a truck here, but it should still be available. Nope, for you. we're out of the way. So cool. if you got any questions, let us know. And Thank thanks you. for letting us film. Yeah, no problem. Social media is free marketing these days, right? <laughs> it's, uh, we use it for so many different things. Yeah. Guys, I always check the doors. Even if I can see from my mirror looking and I can see that it's closed, I always double check. You guys will only do it once. I'm fortunate enough it hasn't happened to me and I make every effort to make sure it doesn't. You pick it up. Everything falling out of the dumpster isn't the worst part. Bending your door and ripping your door off, that's the worst part. So. And it, it's like a walk around. We've talked about this before in the safety video. It's a bit of a walk around on the dumpster to make sure you put eyes all the way around the dumpster. You know exactly what you're working with. So, all right, let's get this one up on the truck. Clean it up a little bit, right? And some guys got into that dumpster last night and we're scavenging through it. And 
At least that way we pick it up a little bit. Try and leave it better than we found it. Okay. So that's a, that's a pretty good look on how my typical day looks. Obviously there's days where, you know, we're doing more dumpsters and that's all we're doing. And then there's days that, you know, hey, we got to run the errands like today where we got to do different things and take care of other businesses and do what's required on that. But, you know, th this is a real good look of what a typical day looks like for me. So I'll end the day with this dumpster loaded on me because I'll start tomorrow getting into my transfer station by 6 a.m. So I like to end the day always loaded. It makes me more efficient in how I start the day rather than trying to get empty, go drop the can off at the yard, come back to my place empty. I'd rather come back to my place loaded and just start. It's just how I prefer to run my show. So we're gonna head back, fuel the truck up, call it a day. Um, you know, we're about, we're about 10 hours is what we spent today. And that's a pretty, that's pretty average for me. I mean, I'll, I'll go 10, 12, 11, somewhere in there. I mean, it just kind of depends, but you usually don't work any less than 10. It's just hard for me to get all my stuff done that I need to, to give attention to in less than 10 days. But um, anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, special thanks to Casey, my digital engineer that just makes everything happen. He makes me look a lot better than I am and he's always the guy behind the lens and the audio so thanks Casey I appreciate you and uh, yeah guys stay tuned we got lots of good more content coming for you as always but yeah comment down below what did you find interesting about the day you got any questions about what we're doing let me know and I'll try and answer them as always but always guys stay loaded for sure your trucks your dumpsters and your bank account but most importantly drive safely out there Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you.